My research is in theoretical computer science, and that means that we're thinking about solving a problem using a step-by-step -step process in a sort of a very abstract way. The main tool we use is mathematics, concepts and tools from pure mathematics to be able to prove yes or no. What I like most about it is that the freedom to explore and play, like I'm not really constrained by any particular computer system or technology, like I truly get to explore what feels like a fundamental property of the universe. And the other part I like is sort of seeing the interconnection with things I learned in math courses, sort of get used and translated over to prove things about algorithms. The importance of the research is to be able to explore new directions and brand new ideas, not constrained of thinking in terms of the known techniques or the popular technique. If we discover a brand new idea or brand new technique, then people in industry can take those ideas and, and go with them. But then on the other side, theoretically, we can prove that certain approaches or certain techniques won't work. And so you can spend a lot of time and money trying to solve a problem in a certain way, and then we can prove that that approach won't work or that the problem is unsolvable. So it sort of forces you to rethink and take a different direction or to solve a different problem. And that's how these results can be very important. So I guess I was introduced to computers at a very young age, and I was always just fascinated by what you could do with them. And I tried taking computer science courses and programming courses in high school, and but it sort of really jived with my mode of thinking. And so in university, I was taking computer science and I sort of learned about the next level higher. And that was just a whole new level of puzzle and feeling of accomplishment when I solved something. And it's just, I've been in that direction ever since. I think the main challenge I faced was sort of getting in my own way. There's a lot of doubt or feeling that I belonged in the area or in the direction I was going in. And so on top of the challenge of succeeding academically or in research, there's just sort of this extra layer of maybe psychologically going to a darker place and always questioning like, should I be doing this? Should I quit? Things could be easier if I just quit and things like that. So I think that's sort of a symptom of like imposter syndrome, but I think it's bigger than that. In terms of how I navigated it, it was to, to seek out others and to find others who were in a similar situation and talk to them and get advice get reassurance that there, there was a successful way through it and got tips and I think that was the most important thing was to know that I wasn't alone and that there were others and other people I could talk to and just keep at it. I think related to my previous point is not worry too much about what others are going to say or what others are going to think. I think a certain amount of fear and caution is healthy and necessary but I think to be more adventurous, to be more outgoing. Like I was definitely sort of on the extreme of basically hiding everything about myself. I think the advice would be try more things, be more outward, but also know that you keep other options as backups in case things don't work out. And so to be more confident in the direction you're going, but also know if things don't go the right way, you have other directions and other options.